This is just a quick review for what you will hear during different conditions for percussion, uh, specifically for the percussion part of the lung exam. So as you know, percussion is just when you strike your middle finger on uh, a patient's lung to see what type of sound it will elicit to try to determine if it's a normal sound or if it's dull or hyper resonant. So let's go over the conditions where the, the sound will change. So for example, in pleural effusion and in pneumonia, so essentially when you have fluid in your lung or the um, pleural cavity, so pleural cavity for the pleural effusion and fluid in the lung is pneumonia, you will have dull percussion. And if you, you can just think about it like, uh, just like a normal drum, right? So if you had a drum filled with fluid, you're going to have a duller sound than if you had one filled with air, right? So it'd be dull compared to a normal uh, drum. And so in contrast, if you have a pneumothorax and emphysema, what you'll have is hyper resonance. And that makes sense because you have extra air than normal, right? So for pneumothorax, you have more air in the pleural cavity, uh, which is not normal. And then emphysema is more air in the lung um, than normal. And that's why also you have that increased total lung capacity because you have air trapping in the lung. And so this creates a hyper resonant sound. So a quick demonstration of this would be to essentially just tap your cheek and then you'll hear a certain sound and then just um, drink. And this will be considered your normal resonant sound. And then if you puff your cheek up and then tap your cheek again, you will hear a hyper resonant sound, right? It'll sound much, uh, it'll sound louder. And then if you fill your mouth with water and then tap it again, you will hear that dull sound, which will illustrate a, uh, a pleural effusion or pneumonia. Um, so you have that dull sound uh, versus the hyper resonant sound uh, when you puff up your cheek. And so one quick note to, to uh, consider about emphysema is that it will be bilaterally, whereas pneumothorax will usually be unilaterally. So usually you only have one lung collapsing in a pneumothorax versus emphysema, clinically it'll be bilaterally and it'll it'll probably be the uh, indistinguishable because you you kind of need to have a baseline sound. And so if someone's lungs are both going to be hyper resonant, well, that will be considered baseline. And so it might not be clinically relevant if you have someone with a hyper resonant because they'll be bilaterally hyper resonant in emphysema, but it's something that they might test on the exam. So quick review, just pneumothorax is unilaterally. Um, because of a stab wound or just spontaneous pneumothorax and emphysema is usually bilaterally and it's very difficult to find clinically because it'll be hyper resonant on both sides and that will be considered your baseline. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.